Good evening and welcome to the Dark Mom Consortium for May the 14th, 2024. Good evening, Grass. How are you doing? Dang it. Oh, dog. Yeah, well, well, thank you. For, oh, Shadow, thank you for the cheer. Appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, I'm doing good. You? I'm. I, I'm. I'm contemplating my existence on this planet as a person who does this and would prefer to be doing this for a living because Stu's out there talking about the new episode, uh, Casual SAB's out there talking about the new episode. I'm just, if it wasn't for uh, Id sending me this stuff while I was at work, it'd be like, we based my head. I have no idea what's going on with the new episode. I was trying to pull some stuff up here real quick from the stuff that Id sent me. So let's take a quick pick. Um, all right, Denise Crosby returns as Captain Sela from another universe for Star Trek Online Unparalleled. And this Sela one looks younger, has definitely Romulan ears to her, and appears in two weeks. Um, I believe somebody was just asking, Chosen, I believe it's the 19th of June for the release on console. Let's see if we've got yeah. any details. Well, definitely the Ethereans are involved in here somehow. If, hold it. The player's captain must work with allies across the universe, including Enterprise Captain Sela from this new parallel universe and Ethereum ally Captain Grendot Bex to defend the Iconians against this new Borg threat and their queen. But I, I, but I like the Ethereans being the evil ones. Ethereans? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. The yeah, my mind's going blank. Here. That's the new Are... alien. Kind of looks no, no. Iconian-ish. Okay, I, I think the Ethereans are a pair, uh, alternate version of the Iconians. Uh, kind of like the Mirror, the Terran Empire. Is yeah, in... that's what everyone was saying, so I think you're probably right with that one. There's a lot of uh, similar effects in terms of the appearances. Yeah, uh, and, and, or it could be also one of those convergent evolution things. Yes. Possibly. So I missed the first line. In Star Trek Online Unparalleled, the Borg threat to the multiverse continues as the player's captain discovers a last stand between a new peaceful alternate universe Iconians and a new type of Borg infused with mysterious nanite technology. And the episode is called Situation Under Control. The Ethereans will send you on a mission with one of their own into a new universe, and you must join forces to stem the tide of a new Borg foe. New TFO, Borg Battle Royale. Okay. Uh, that's uh, kind of the new sumpack. Yeah. Um, event version will last 12 rounds, but... Uh, an infinite round version will be available after the event. So, yeah, I hope they're not getting rid of Sompek. I do love Sompek. Oh, well, honestly, I wish they would bring back the the, like, uh, the multi-round, not the event one. Right, isn't that... A, yeah, that should be available, though, isn't it? Uh, Is it, if it uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's still there. Yeah. Okay. Well, the, the reason why is uh, I was able to get a dance move from there. Yeah, you get um, uh, uh, Sompec, not Sompec, is it Sompec Lightning or? Yeah, so, something that pretty much, uh, you, you, you're pretty much tasering yourself. Yeah, Victory of Sompec, that was it. Uh, season 32 event will be Delete Alt Control. Uh, for this new event, players can select content earned rewards of Dimensional Hypermass Torpedo Launcher, Type 14 Shuttle Support Squadron, 500 Lobby, a Phoenix Epic Prize Token, there you go, and 30,000 Lithium Ore. There will be a T6 Ethereum Revolution, Revelation will be added to the lockbox, and a Captain Alteration Token. 
You want to change your character but keep your hard earned reward? Now you can with Captain Alteration Token. This token will allow you to change your captain's species or gender within your faction. Yeah, uh, I think it was Stu that I watched a video on that he's like, yes, finally. Uh, because uh, a lot of people made a insert alien race character. Yes. Not not knowing that the alien is, is species is the one to go to. Because, uh, Shadow, thank you again, my dear. But uh, th thank you, but you don't have to do that. I appreciate it, though. It's very nice of you. Yeah, the the alien race. Uh, for those that don't know, and pre I'm pretty sure most of us are are intelligent enough to know, gets eleven uh, personal space traits and guard traits. Yes, yes, yes. Aliens are nice because you get the. You get the 10 as base, and then you can up it to 11. Um, Chosen says, I'm shocked that Sela is part of Starfleet. This is She's not part of our Starfleet. She's she's on the Terran side, right? She's in the Mirror uh, Universe. No, no, Sela, no, no, not part of any. She's in prime timeline STO. She's yeah. Romulan. Right. And she's definitely got the Romulan ears in this one. Yeah, and she's wearing so, a Starfleet uniform. Uh, what I'm thinking is, Fabaduk that... says it's a new parallel universe. It's not the mirror. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, do you think uh, it could be the Confederation? It doesn't yeah. specify, so I suppose it could be. Yeah. And by the way, hi Joshua. Hello. Hey. Yeah. Uh, uh, from from what I'm assuming here, based on uh, her evidence. It's going to be kind of like uh, the Next Generation episode Parallels. Yes. Uh, it, it's just, he's, instead of, uh, uh, okay, what I'm going to assume here is Tasha successfully escaped in this particular universe. Okay. Uh, with uh, Sela, or or at least she was able to get Sela to the Federation. Okay, well, if it's a mirror universe, no, if it's a parallel universe, the whole storyline could be different. Yeah, yeah, uh, it, it could be that the uh, pretty much kind of like what happened with yesterday's Enterprise. Yeah. Uh, a version of Tasha went back in time uh, and uh, had, uh, had a kid with a Romulan mm -hmm. and, and so somehow uh, I, I see one of two scenarios happening here. Either the Romulan had a did something out had a change of heart and said, "Here, go. You're free with your with our daughter." Or Tasha somehow successfully she you know, she may not escape herself, but she gets Sila to the Federation. There's so many ways you could spin that storyline about yeah, how that yeah. happened. I mean, it could be. Uh, where the Romulans or the Vulcans or the Romulans and the Vulcans n um, never were at uh, war with the, with Starfleet. That may never have happened. They may be allies, and that's how uh, Tasha yeah. and what's his name got together in the first place. I mean, it could all yeah. be that Tasha may have served honorably, and her daughter serves honorably, and you know. Well respected. That's why she's the captain of the Enterprise. Uh, or, we have no or, clue yet. Or for okay. some reason, <clears throat> yeah. Go ahead. Do you think this could be the Kelvin timeline? No, Tashia. I don't no. think so. I think this is completely yeah. new. I hope this is uh, a new timeline. Yeah, well, uh, you got to uh, understand it could be the Kelvin universe. I, me personally, I hope not, because t to be honest. The the butterfly effect. Uh, it, it's like 
for the the Kevin timeline. Uh, it's like if you, if an event changes in at a certain point of time, the, the ripples within a certain a certain time period after the change. Well, let's see. It, we might say the same to a certain degree. Okay, if it's within the... Hi, Mar Hawkman. How are you? You're talking about Sela, right? Yeah, we're talking about the new episode coming out in a couple okay, weeks. Well, I, I read the blog very carefully, and okay. it says only a, a tiny handful of things. Yes. It shows a picture of her wearing a pretty normal Federation captain's uniform. Yes. It mentions she's the captain of the Enterprise. Yes, it does. Universe. Well, this gives us several possible things that are the difference in her character. Like one, it's Sela. Sela is the half Romulan daughter of Tasha Yar. Yep. Which suggests that in her universe, you know, she got it on with that Romulan general. Right. The same as in the regular one. Well, what was the defining moment in Sela's life that caused her to choose her destiny when tasha tried to take her away from her father yeah so what if in this universe tasha succeeded as i kind of pointed out earlier what Tasha succeeded in escaping or at least getting her to the federation because like uh if, if she grew up as mm -hmm. a, a member of the federation that would make logical sense why she's a captain on the federation right, starship but, but there she doesn't have to be this captain. whole tasha was the um unwilling bride of a romulan it it could have been you know in this universe mm. none of that could have ever happened this could have been a relationship that they both wanted and maybe the child was welcome and loved and grew up with a very healthy set of parents who cared for each other but she respected her mother and wanted to follow in her footsteps or you know a hundred ways you could spin it where it's not just that one thing that changes but there's many ways you could spin this until oh, yeah. the episode comes out we won't and we actually get to see what her enterprise looks like yeah, the, the, we'll they're... know we'll know for definite which universe she's from. Oh, I, I'm gonna say this: it's like the TNG episode parallel. Yeah. Uh, how many enterprises were there at the, near the end of the episode? Thousands, oh, yeah. weren't like, there? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Data actually said that his uh, calculation said that if they didn't uh, solve the problem. Uh, that region of space would have so many enterprises materialize that it would collapse into a singularity. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Lots uh, and lots of uh, enterprises. Uh, yeah, but yeah, pretty much. I, I'm gonna from well, the visual from the what I saw. I'm gonna assume that there were at least somewhere between a few hundred to probably a thousand or so. Yeah, but, but pretty, much, uh, pretty much what I'm getting at is there there could be a thousand different possibilities on. Let's uh, say what we ha we know as canon. We know the Confederation timeline. We know the Kelvin timeline. Mm -hmm. The Mirror Universe, the one we know as the alternate version of what we are, the Prime Universe. And then and you've got the... Disco. The number one thing I feel that we should remember here is that there are... An established number of timelines in Star Trek that is nearly infinite. Mm -hmm. So, you, I mean, Parallels isn't even the only time Star Trek goes into that rabbit hole. Yeah. It's been done several times. Like, yes, well, the Mirror Universe is the alternate universe that's actually been seen more than once. But there's been yeah, so please. many one-off alternate universes that... People yes, forget the rest of them. Yesterday's Enterprise. I think Voyager did one or two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you got to understand that in that respect, you've got to think logically. Which one of the timelines... Discovery, you can explain that away with a massive retrofit. You can explain Discovery's timeline pretty simply. The... Clearly, Starfleet were innovating during between the NX01 and the time of the the original series. 
So with the Klingons. So you could explain that away. So in reality, Disco timeline doesn't sound right to me. Well- let, let me jump back onto that one. First, I want to catch up with a quick note here from Fabaduke, who says, these uh, event rewards and the changes to the event campaign feel like a goodbye from Cryptic as Dika starts taking over, which is an interesting comment. Kind of feels a bit like bribery, too. But anyway, um, he points out there's actual leaks of Tasha's fate in this episode. Denise accident- accidentally told everyone on a podcast, and the hints are in the new art. So I was looking at the new art, uh, and then Fabaduke goes on to, based on the episode and TFO names, I'm assuming the new Borg on the poster are fused with the control virus from Disco Season 2, which I don't remember seeing, but, you know. Wait, if if that is true, that means in her universe, control... was still oh, well, well, remember, is that the Red Borg... Uh, while they have been referred to as Mirror Universe Borg, mm-hmm. they're actually an interdimensional menace. They've d- d- developed a portal technology that lets them do the equivalent of opening trans warp gates between universes. And that's what's making them such a problem. Well, if and you... also giving them functionally infinite manpower. If you look at the artwork, um, there is more of a motif of like a snaky type creature possibly a snake type plant that seems to be more involved with the borg and the borg are wearing federation style uniforms underneath neath their uh appendages um, mom mom hmm? those uniforms there i stared at them several times yes. trying to figure out and analyze them carefully and those look functionally identical to what you see in uh, bozeman on the assimilated uh, Enterprise crewmen. Oh, interesting. They're wearing DS9 Section 31 uniforms and Control took over <clears throat> Section 31 in Disco Season 2. But it's, like that, that, that distinctive thing of having that box on the front of the chest. Yes. Players can't use that yet. I'm yeah, not that. sure why. It's like uh, almost all of the uh, rest of that uh, costume is usable by players however that box on the front of the chest is and that's the first thing that caught my eye is like that box and those diagonal cables Mm -hmm. wrapping around the chest it's part of the the red borg uh, kit that they added when they introduced the red borg faction and yeah the chosen one um yeah that's exactly what mom was talking about Let's see. Let's see how this new episode and new TFOs look. Because let's be honest, somehow that you know that particular artwork will be explained in that TFO. Oh yes, it will absolutely. And I, I do think that I do think that that weird stock thing is an important part of the scenery. Uh, we just don't know why yet. <laughs> Yeah, I think, in my opinion, until we see the episode and learn of all of its secrets, I would place anything we say now as speculative. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And that's all that's going to be. I mean, they, 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 they gave us they gave us a few teasers to uh, chew on for yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know which uh, podcast she was uh, Denise Crosby was talking on. I uh, didn't see it either, and I'm kind of curious about that myself. Yeah, I just don't know. Let's but see. That again. She was talking um, two weeks ago on the seventh rule. And hold on a second here. I've been busy recently on my <laughs> temple recruit. Tell me about it. Um, but there's. Okay. Yeah, I was planning on doing a stream later to this evening, doing temple recruit stuff. Yeah, I'm trying I'm, to see if I can find I'm out what she's talking. Trying to wrap it all up. It doesn't yeah, say what, um, ah. Keep which your one she was ears on. Open. Okay, so I'm uh, re-examining the image in the article because I know there's hints in it. 
it has to be kids because anything they put in there it has to be there for a reason even if it's a trivial reason it's there for a reason um well, looking at the picture one thing uh comes out to me. this version of the Ethereum costume feels like it's designed to be player usable it's obviously just concept art, not an in-game screenshot. Yes, but right, right. Yeah. Uh, oh, also, it's like the, these sketches they did of those Borg. Mm -hmm. The one in the middle makes me think of Grand Moff Tarkin. <laughs> kind of look at it. Or could they be kind with of. the nine Borg being uh, teleported from the older time? Nah, so, we, so we could have... Wolfie five nine era Borg in the twenty fifth century. But that that is an interesting point though, is that these guys don't have red glows on their gear. Precisely. Uh, so could it be the Prime Universe it's, old it's, Borg? It's the same style of cybernetics as the Red Borg though. Hmm. But all, well, all, one thing I, I was mentioning though is that a lot of those cybernetics that they added uh, that to make player usable uh, when they added the Red Borg faction to the game, you see those used by the uh, random Borg from wherever. It's like you, you use Assimilate to assimilate the Terrans in uh, a ground mission, and the, suddenly the Terrans are wearing uh, Mirror Borg uh, costume parts. And you see them in the Bozeman Patrol. So they're clearly designed by Cryptic to actually be generic Borg assets and not indicative that a specific Borg is from the Red Borg faction. Which ah, makes me have the questions like, who are these guys again? <laughs> <laughs> well... Uh, Fabaduk, if you will send it to me as a DM, I can add it, but you can't add a link directly. It's like uh, the only thing that's actually unique and distinctive is the fact that they have red glows, and these guys don't have that. Also, it's like the in-game character models for the Red Borg faction. Every single one of them I can think of that I've seen had one of those faceplate attachments, which these guys don't have. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, that, that, that's more of a stylistic thing, but uh, one of them does have a glowing eye implant, and it's a very soft, subtle glowing eye, like, a, like a, an old-school cybernetic eye, rather than one of those giant Borg scanner things bolted to your face. So you're thinking Wolfie 5-9 era? No, I'm thinking that we're going to meet a, a third version of Borg from a completely different universe. Yeah, uh, or, yeah. Uh, because, like, another I, thing with these guys is that these guys have actual uniforms they're wearing. Yes, yes, they uh, are. I, I'm, I'm going to uh, kind of side with you on that. I'm thinking that they're, you're right, it's either going to be a third Borg party or maybe a... Uh, oh, wait. I, 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 uh, no. I, okay, I think this is the... Um, Red Borg faction equivalent of the um, Borg Cooperative. Really? That, that, well, that, that, that's what just hit me. It's like, what faction have we seen that uses this cyan color? The Cooperative. It's like, yeah. on the like the traditional main universe Borg ships, it's a yellowish green. The Cooperative uses that green, blue, teal almost color. Uh, That's also, true. Also, also, it could be where uh, the Borg King died at the end of the last episode. Mm -hmm. This could be three guy, uh, three kings. Uh, instead of being kings, they're like a council. Well, the I mean, the, the 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 guy in the in the middle definitely feels like he's supposed to be a leader, because again. The Grand Moff Tarkin uh, resemblance is probably not actually a Dr. coincidence. Dr. Julian Bashir, it's probably like a just like a stylistic stir, similarity shaken, that Chief they wanted someone of... to convey that same feeling oh, of I... being in charge. <laughs> now, now, it could be that he might be a king, 
the king, but he might not be there yet. And the other two are more dukes. Uh, well, there to help him out until he gets fully integrated. Well, I mean, uh, even in the the board cooperative, they have leaders. It, even if they don't call it a king, it's still they still have a leadership position. And the more I look at that uh, weird tentacle uh, thing on the left, yes. the more it it looks like a nanite swarm. Yeah, actually, I'm the, 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 the texturing that. does remind me of those uh, weird nanite tentacles that they uh, conjured for control in that one uh, story. Uh, actually, yeah, they they did mention some nanites being an issue, and. Uh, the some gray goo type stuff, and that weird tentacle creature looks like it could be a night gray, gray goo item. Oh, wait, 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 Are you talking about the measure of morality scenario? Yes, yes. The, the only story in Stowe where we actually fight control. So, could you say the events of that particular episode may be coming back to bite us? Or maybe we're just looking at it from a different universe's perspective. It's like, how did that particular event happen in that universe instead of ours? Yeah. Like because, again, the, the number one thing we know about this is it's all a bunch of alternate universe stuff. Yeah. Oh, uh, there is actually one other thing that caught my attention the third or fourth time I looked at this and that I'm genuinely curious about now after realizing it's there. What mm -hmm. is Dila holding in her hand? I thought she was holding a phaser, but um, hang on a second here. It, a at first dial phaser. It, it at first glance you think like oh it's a it's a phaser pistol then second glance you realize like wait a second this thing while it aesthetically has the colors and lines of a federation phaser pistol from the TOS era anyways um, the actual shape of it is the same as uh, Sela's favorite Romulan disruptor pistol from TNG ah interesting. Uh, yeah, is it okay if I link the uh, I mean, image, if, image to the end? Yes, uh, if you can't, let me know. Uh, Fabaduk says, the pistol on the poster is the pistol from Picard Seasons 1 and 3. Hmm. Yeah, it, it, it could be, uh, it looks somewhere, uh, I'm going to say a hybrid of... Uh, well, that, that is this kind of what I was getting at, though. It's like, it, it looks very much like the design of that one style of Romulan disruptor pistol, but remade using Federation uh, material. Yeah, uh, uh, Rosebo. Uh, uh, yes. Okay, we know Fakal Sean oversaw the retrofit of our universe's Enterprise to the Yorktown refit. Right? Oh, At right. the battle of midnight. Right. Okay. And, and if I'm picking up what you're laying down, you're, you're thinking that in this universe, Sela had the same role that Vakel Sean had in our universe. Yes. Ooh, well, that the would only be interesting. big difference is the Iconians never invaded their universe. So well, the it, it says here that the Iconians are allies in this universe. Precisely. So they never got damaged at the Battle of Midnight. So the Enterprise never got that heavy damage and made that return at the start of the Gamma arc. With the Herc issue. Does that make sense? So that whole Iconian war arc mm -hmm. that we spent with the better part of, what, a year near enough fighting? Didn't didn't exist in her universe. But, but, but what did they have instead of they, that? But you don't mm. have to have something instead. A no. parallel universe might not follow exactly along. It might inter 
it might hit at specific points that are the same, but the lines with between those points could vary tremendously. Yeah, yeah. So what I would suggest... You know what? Uh, the, uh, uh, an idea just popped into my head. Mm -hmm. What if in this universe, the key thing that made this universe different from ours is what if Zila didn't steal the orb during the fall of Iconia? And she didn't hurt the Iconians. No, didn't steal the orb. Right, right. No. I see where you're going with that one. Wait, wait, wait. Be because the, 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 orb being, the orb being stolen is the reason why the Iconians had a mad on for destroying right, Romulus. Right, right. No. And, and, yeah. and, and the reason why they weren't able to rebuild their civilization uh, immediately, they had to like reconstruct everything rather clumsily. And while they did eventually create what we see today, it's not what they had before. Hmm. But you got to remember, she also dat you her a few Iconians. Because, like, uh, in uh, the, the the final of the Iconian arc, the Iconians wanted the orb back because it contained lost knowledge. Right. Right. To them. <laughs> So that whole arc of us giving the orb back never happened. Mm -hmm. Because they never lost it in the first place. Right. And so that, reality, that, that, that could be the reason why the Iconians are allies in that universe because of the fact that they're doing the whole benevolent ancient race thing and have been, you know, helping the, the Federation along for however many millennia. Yeah, and more yeah. than that, well, hold on. If they didn't, not if she didn't steal the orb they wouldn't have had to go back in time to do anything in the first place right mm -hmm. okay so that whole story arc doesn't exist anymore so the I mean, Iconians, for whatever they, they, issues they had uh received no assistance from the federation but then they weren't hindered by sila either yes because like uh the, the iconians were basically forced to rebuild their technology from memory and whatever uh, <laughs> bits and pieces they had with them at the time. Right. Which, so, I mean, m most of our modern day technology is stuff that your average person couldn't uh, build from memory. So. Okay, let, <laughs> let's think about the weapon systems of that Odyssey class. She's going to be preferably pretty strong. Yeah. Her shields are going to be of Iconian design. Yeah, possibly. Let's if they're allies, they're to share technology. So you've got to think about Iconian weaponry adapted to phase the technology. I have to, to to caveat the shared technology thing is that they're not necessarily going to give us the best stuff they know how to make. Because the best no. stuff they know how to make is probably stupidly expensive by their standards. Yes. So you know our, our and I, 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 I would imagine it being a lot like the whole like Earth Force Vorlon uh, uh, relationship in Babylon 5. Yeah, or Arthur C. Clarke's uh, any sufficiently advanced tech is going to be almost indistinguishable from magic. T uh, TOS played with that a lot. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. And, and, and to be honest, like, yeah, the Iconians in SEO, uh, yeah, it's like some of the tech, even to someone from the 23rd, 24th century, looks almost magical we're talking about gateways uh, opening up out of nowhere and someone's walking through so you're thinking more like the sp19 from discovery season three Maybe. the gateway oh, okay. system that they well, implemented in which thought that caused the burn in the navarre institute council decided to pull from the Federation because of that very issue. Mm. I'm just bringing up law that's already been laid down in canon. Mm. That's That sounds like similar technology as the SB-19 experiment. Oh, also, the, the uh, blog gives us the name of one of the Ethereans. Brindat Bex. Yeah. Hmm. Wait, hold it. What? What, what? Defend the Iconians against this new Borg yeah. threat 
and their queen. Yep. Whoever this Borg faction is we're going to be fighting in this thing has a queen, not a king. king. So, which, be... also, also it, it is actually saying new Borg threat. Yes. I'm not, I, which makes me, me uh, seriously question whether this is actually the Red Borg faction at all. Or, or if this oh. might, might actually be a different uh, alternate universe Borg faction. Via, uh, could, could it oh, be? Oh, actually, you know what? It, it actually does say uh, previously a new, new type of Borg. Yes. Infused with nanites. Mm. Yes. Not that that's a surprise because Borgs are infused with nanites, but okay. Yeah. Here's a caveat. Could it be the Red Borg just appearing as a different fraction? I posted Until... the link to the uh, podcast that it's talked about. It's at the hour and 22, 21, 22 mark. Yeah. I think in retrospect, could it be the Red Borg just dressed up differently? Possibly. Possibly. Uh, because they, they well, have been known to be interdimensional he... and they adapt to new technology. So... Well, you could what, say they have different colorations for different universes. <laughs> My thought is actually something simpler. Is simply that uh, our universe has this version of the board. Wh whichever universe the red board came from has that version of the board. This is a, a third universe with a third version of board. And you know. So. Oh, oh, Fabido points out something interesting. If you look behind the Ethereum, is that the Borg uh, Queen Octahedron behind her? I was looking at that and staring at that very intently. It's like I, I see shapes that kind of sort of look like it could be either an Ethereum ship or a Borg ship. Yeah, I wasn't right. sure which I, one either. I think, I think there's two different structures there. Yeah, the, I, I can't make it out well enough to even be able to sh sure if it's a single object or not. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to assume here that the gray, kind of a light white gray, is part of her uniform. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, because that's very clear yeah. in comparison to what looks yeah. like the octahedron now, behind them. Yeah, and the octahedron behind her, is, it looks borgish. You know, it's I think. hard to tell, though, because that Ethereum thing also had an interesting architecture. You know something I think it could be? An Alachi vessel. It does have some similarities to a Sheshar Dreadnought, that is for sure. It's, a, it's, an out there, it's an out there, you know, we... idea, but could the Alachi be assimilated to the Borg? Uh, and the Borg uh, used some of the technology to gateway themselves by using the spore drive technology they have. Hmm. Yeah, it, it, you, you, I was about to say, it could be both. It could be a Borgified Lachy vessel. Mm-hmm. Which yeah, means man. it's going to be a bugger to fight, but... Uh. Do you want me to listen to the podcast and tell you what she says? No. <laughs> I can do it. Hold on. Well, hey, one thing. Mm -hmm. At least we know. At least one thing. We're gonna see Sela. We are gonna see Sela. Sela. And the captain of an Enterprise. Yeah. So I, uh, I jumped up on this. I can turn off the mics and listen if you guys want. And then let you know what she says. Do you want me to do that? Go on then. Okay, I'm going to turn off the mics here. So you, hopefully you guys can't hear this. Good evening, Captain Duck.
the new season 32 event. Control alt delete. Delete alt control. Control. You mean the the one that we go so, so survivors that uh uh mission with the uh weird time bubbles and the alternate universe version of tonight I would say if she was successful I find finding uh, Tasha before she died? Well, yeah. I didn't want to listen to the whole thing because I didn't want to keep you guys sitting there listening to nothing for however long that runs. But yeah, she's giving out some clues. So if you go to that website that I posted, to that uh, podcast, right at about one minute, or sorry, one hour, 22 minutes, she goes pretty much into talking about Star Trek Online. Hmm. We can all go uh, I, to I did not notice one thing about this that I find to be hilarious. Yes. Count the faces. The faces. This looks like a Zoom call with 19 people in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's, you know, doing podcasts these days are interesting. I'm not putting that many faces on a podcast. Thank you. I'm not putting that many faces in a meeting. <laughs> I, I I've done the, that stuff enough to know that most of those people are basically just spectators. One of them, I think, one of the ships that could be the is the Harmony. It could well, be yes, mm, but I don't think so. That was actually my my first thought, but then I was like, wait a second, Harmony Maybe. is currently the only Aetherian vessel we've ever seen. This is true. Right. It's also not particularly large by either Iconian or Borg standards. So what other kinds of Aetherian vessels are there? Well, yeah, we only, we've only we only seen one. We'll have to see more. Uh, swear, I don't know which pet it is that you're trying to sh have show up for me. And Fabaduke says it's their Patreon followers that are on that. Oh. Hello there, Minnie Spock. How are you doing? Oh, uh, th th there's a, another I idea that, ju that just popped into my head. Is that what if Star Trek Online is using this as an excuse to do a rendition of the Borg Queen vessel from Picard? <laughs> okay. <sighs> it's like, of all of the Borg vessels that we've seen, that's the one that most resembles this silhouette it, it does even if it's not a strong resemblance it's a very escher-esque uh board queen vessel that i really like well let's see what happens because if it is that mirror that that bulk vessel from picard season three that's definitely going to be interesting oh actually you know what there is actually one other thing in this blog that we haven't talked about yet that uh could be a Hint as to the story. Yes. What is the name of the uh, reward weapon? Dimensional hypermass torpedo. Yes. Yes. I'm not sure what that says about anything, but it feels like one of those plot devices that people would uh, throw into an interdimensional wormhole to make it close. Okay, that's reasonable. That means that would be something that we're going to start seeing popping up. I mean, that the whole thing is about alternate universe stuff. So. Oh, yeah. Good point. Good point. We may need so to use we... that at the end of an episode to uh, wrap up a battle of some sort. Interesting. I have, a, I have a theory. This is a cool one. You know how that particular one spot in the Delta Quadrant is weak to attack the Undine? Yeah. 
if the this faction of Borg have been exploiting that in other universes, they could be punching through through there. Um, perhaps. But one thing that gets pointed out in Star Trek several times is that uh, dimensional weakness isn't necessarily a single yes or no value. Mm -hmm. it, it's weakness to what? And, you know, that place is some place where the Undine's uh, whatever alternate dimension thingy is able to cross over relatively easily. But, you know, a different... Uh, example would be the delta triangle which is a, a completely different alternate level of reality that plays by its own weird rules and only intersects with our universe in the delta triangle uh, so it could be that spot might be allergic to peanuts not almonds yeah and kind of that, like that yeah and so in the uh, and dean used peanuts and while the board are using almonds. Yeah, exactly. Although there is also that that weird thing from that was never explained at the end of that story mission. It's like, why did the harmony travel to fluidic space? It didn't. No, it couldn't. But it got into that bubble, so it could get exactly. to uh, Undine well, space, it, but it couldn't actually get into Undine space. Yeah, it's like they wanted to be in the Undine's fluidic dimension for some reason. And um, that giant explosion of the Borg crap uh, created a, a, a large enough bubble of normal space for them to enter uh, Undine space without having to touch the fluidic goop. Yes, but see, for me, that all leads up to the Ethereans being bad guys. That of they, course. Yeah, I, I don't want them to be good guys. We have enough good guys i want some new bad guys in this well see my, my, my thoughts with the aetherians is the whole thing of like they uh i show up at your doorstep saying hey i i can help you with this problem that you have and you're like what problem oh it's that problem over there the problem i like, brought with uh, me yeah that wasn't a problem before you got here <laughs> like the whole thing with the, the red borg it's like what exactly was the Red Borg plan? It's like um, uh, King Harry uh, actually hints that he's a puppet in someone else's. Yeah, team. yeah. I mean, then the Ethereum kills him. <laughs> no, well, it's Kumarki. Oh no, 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 no! This is not Kumarki. This is some other version of Kumarki. I got news for you: our Kumarki wouldn't do that. Well, no. also it's like 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 this person here. Uh, wasn't acting under her own control. Yep. She was acting like someone else was physically yep. controlling her. Mm -hmm. Which so is why I think it was the Ethereum who did it. I agree with you. I, I I agree. I think the Ethereans are not the nice guys here. I don't think they are our friends or allies. They are manipulating us in the case of Kumarki very directly, but in the case of uh, Starfleet indirectly by getting us to do what they need done so they can do whatever their plan is relating to Iconian space. Excuse me, Undine space. Oh, okay, Swear says he can't see. Okay, fine. Hey, uh, Swear, let's go outside. I want to see if these work if we're outside of this little tiny area of the map. Where are you, Nimbus? We're on Nimbus, but we're in... If, 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 if you're inside the... Uh, uh, a compound that yeah. has really special rules about what you're allowed to do. Okay. And combat pets refuse to summon them. Well, Remember this getting, area? They're summoned, this area, but uh, nobody else can see them. I can see mine. Right, 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 right. But th th this is a map volume that causes your bridge officers to despawn as soon as you set foot in it. And this is true, but now we're outside. It, it, and it I does some really, really see. weird stuff. Yeah, now we're outside uh, the compound and I, I can't see his pets. I uh, just resummon them and see if it works. Then I just did. It didn't work. Hmm. Okay, I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, in the last mission, there are logs in the mission that you can listen to talking about how the Ethereans entered the Amu Mir universe and the Red Borg wanted to team up with the Terrans to stop them. So if they're willing to do that, the Ethereans are up to no good. I, I hmm. rest my case. Yeah, I actually listened to those logs multiple times, and 
Uh, it is a bit vague, but it's very um, um, obvious hinting that the Ethereans are up to something. Yeah, yeah, I, I could have told you that, and I did tell you that from the get-go. I don't trust the Ethereans. We've had too many species who just magically show up and are our friends that it's time to have somebody magically show up and not be our friend. It makes for it much more interesting. Well, well actually, here's a good uh, question for you from the Shadow War. Okay. Uh, were the Shadows friends or enemies? That's a really good question. They were whatever they needed to be for their betterment. I don't think they the, were either. The shadows were enemies of the Vorlon. Right. Anyone who served the Vorlons was their enemy by extension, but that was literally their only reason to fight the, uh, the uh, Earth Force. <laughs> the Earth Force were seen by the shadows as servants of the Vorlons. That alone was the reason why the shadows were fighting Earth Force. Not to say anything negative about Bab 5, because I really liked it, but that is kind of simplistic writing. Well, see, here's the thing, is that um, J. Michael Straczynski made several very uh, interesting comments about his thought process with writing it, mm -hmm. and his basic uh, thing was that you draw an outline of the big picture, and then you... Uh, fill in the gaps as you tell the story. You need to start by drawing the outline of the big picture so that when you fill in the gaps, everything falls into place. And what I just told you was, you know, like the most big picture explanation of the Shadow War imaginable. Yeah, <laughs> uh, he, he uh, he's right. The Primus B5 each season was his own uh, th th think of it as all five seasons as uh, a book and series. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, kind, of, kind of like the Harry Potter series. Uh, you knew that there was going to be a big showdown at the end. But uh, pretty much all five se seasons had a some story to tell. Uh, Oh, wait. Go ahead. Um, there is one last thing that I noticed in the blog that is relevant to that discussion we were having earlier. Okay. It lists that the Infinity Lockbox will be updated to add a P6 ship. Yes, it is, and it's an Ethereum ship. Yeah, which makes me question if that shadow is... The revelation. Oh, that could be because it's literally a shadow outline of a ship in the same blog that talks about a new lockbox or uh, a lockbox item. Yeah, is there a new lockbox too? No, no, no. It, it, it's just it's just an uh, infinity lockbox update. But yeah, it's a, a new uh, ship being added to the Infinity Lock box, and there's a blog with a shadowy outline of a ship in it. Mm. Yes, there is. And it's behind the Ethereum person. Because like the, the, the way they, they position the two ships you see here, it's like the um, Enterprise is kind of sort of behind Sela, and the other one is kind of sort of behind Grindat Bex. Kind of suggests to me that it's, you know, the revelation. Hmm. All right, I'm see a new image here. Let me take a look at it. Oh, Baba Duke disagrees under the uh, claim that uh, the ship um, doesn't uh, embrace the Ethereum design aesthetic. My counter to that is we have one example of the Ethereum design yeah. aesthetic, and um, it's 
not what I would personally consider to be a pristine design. I spent a lot of time staring at, at that thing in the um, uh, missions where we looked at it because I wanted to blow it up. For some reason, I just instinctively wanted to blow it up as soon as I saw it. Anyways, um, so the, but, the ship that's added is the Ethereum Revelation. Mm -hmm. Right, right. But, but the tetrahedron one, shaped one from the previous one has several very strange greebles that don't really make logical sense. Yep. Like, they, they're greebles that move through the hull of the ship. Very, very weird. But we're talking about a su sufficiently advanced tech. Oh, I know that. It, it, it's, but uh, well, what I was getting at is that Ethereum stuff looking, you know, perfectly clean, not necessarily. It's, it's not the cleanest um, artwork I've ever seen. And there's only so uh, close I can get. So it's hard to tell if yeah, this like is me, a me. ship in development um, or something like that. Well, like most of it's in shadow. So yeah. like the, the tiny bits that are glowing might just be the equivalent of like circuitry. Or, no, I oh, don't wait, think so because it parallels it on the other side and you can see the clouds through it. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's like there is that one spot that is definitely a pipe on the edge. Uh, mm, no, I want to say it's a cutout on the edge. Are you talking about the gold on the inner edge right over Sila's uh, right arm? And its mirror above uh, the uh, Ethereum's left to shoulder. And also, if you uh, also if you kind of See, parallel with her eyes as well there's yeah to me that looks like it's a cutout because there's areas that are definitely cutouts on that and i think that's two of you them you know there is actually another thing it could be it could be that it's supposed to be like a glowing uh like a a glass conduit thing yeah on that the could edge. be but like just... that it's it, it's like kind of see-through but not like fully see-through hmm. yeah i i don't know you know Again, it's like the fact that it's like almost entirely in shadow makes it hard to uh, guess. But, Although I, okay. I, I do see a few things that look like maybe like board conduits. So I don't, I don't On the know. other hand, we have people standing. We have clouds. What if this is a ground scene? As opposed, as we opposed have to seen, a, uh, we have seen that. Yeah, that, and that was cloud. part. That that was part of measure of morality. Yeah, and I'm just thinking, what if this ship that we're seeing is not a ship at all? Perhaps it's some sort of uh, well, station? yeah, that that, that 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 is a good point, actually. Um, uh, for a different uh, example, um, uh, what was that planet called again? The planet that gets assimilated by the Borg in the Federation tutorial. The planet that gets... Oh, wait, wait, wait. There, there, there's another example. The Fera, That giant freaking Borg thing yeah. parked on the Fera. Yeah. This does kind of resemble that. Kind of. So, so so, if this is supposed to be a ground asset, then that kind of Borg's command structure uh, would actually make sense. Could be. It's, it's just, you know, we've got the Borg walking around. We've got what looks like a plant behind it. We've got what, something that looks like clouds and the fact that we can see sunlight and clouds through this machine vehicle station, whatever it is, just screams that this is something that's happening on the ground of a planet. Uh, also, we do know that there is a new uh, TFO that will be uh, endless waves of combat on the ground. Yep, yep. Uh, version of, and of some this, text. this might be uh, that. Combat. Oh, maybe that's why we're on this base or on this planet. This is where that's that going combat to arena is said to be Borg themed, and coming alongside an episode uh, with delete alt control as the title. Hmm. Might be a connection. Could be. It is Tuesday. Is there a uh, whatever? The, is it? Yeah, it's Tuesday. Is there a ten forward today? Well, or was see, that? Um, I didn't see anybody mention it. No. 
I'm surprised. I figured they would have. I'm, they'll I, definitely I, have I, one next I, week. I would have had gotten a, a Twitch notify if they'd uh, gone. Yeah, my Twitch notifies me like 14 hours after, so it'll be tomorrow morning. Goes, hey, we're going live right now. I'm thinking, no, you're not. You um, are so oh, not yeah, right those now. Are, those are super erratic. The, the, the mailer <laughs> demon is um, weird, and, and also sometimes the mailer demon gets uh, redirected to the spam folder. Oh, not in mine. It doesn't. Fabaduke says, All the clouds and light invokes the cube reveal in Picard Season 3 when Jack opened the red door. Yeah, it does, kind of. Oh, great. Now I have to go watch Picard Season 3 again. Thanks, Fabaduke. Like, I don't have enough stuff to do around the house. Now I have to go watch that again. That does line up with what I said about how the lines of this thing vaguely remind me of the Borg Queen's vessel. This is way too cool. Hey, we've just spent the last hour shooting the breeze about something that isn't out there yet. Would anybody like to actually go off and uh, do shooty shooties? Or anything? Oh, uh, pew pew and boom boom? Yeah. Sure. We haven't done any pew pew or anything anything tonight. We've just been discussing something that we can't do anything more I about. Mean, and me it's... feeling bad because uh, MC Stu and uh, for Casual SAB were out there with their analysis hours ago and I'm feeling way behind the curve because it's been eight hours since this got announced. Mm. What would I, I do without think, you guys? I, I did think about making a video about it. but I You should. Hmm. Uh, well, let's see here. Um, I didn't really have anything uh, in, in particular in planned other than do uh delta recruit stuff so well, we can do delta recruit stuff what have you got um most of the delta quadrant arc is there anything you can share with the delta quadrant um i'm sure there's at least a few things in there that are not solo let me log in and double check exactly which ones Uh, okay, the species change thing is something that people requested, like Legacy of Romulus era. It's the the, the reason that they had um, uh, said uh, no originally was solely that they uh, felt that it would be uh, unworkable oh, to add a uh, change token like that if they were going to change your faction. So. What they've done now is it doesn't change your faction. Welcome to the Delta. It lets you change your species and gender, am I correct? No yeah. Yep. Uh, although, I, I suspect that the whole gender change thing will have certain limitations. <laughs> you know which limitations. Yeah. Uh, will, uh, will we be able to change from male Lethean to a female Lethean? Well, yeah. Not. <laughs> I mean, that's the sort of thing that, that I would actually want to use it for, but, you know. Oh, actually, that's another interesting question. We'll be able to use it on bridge officers, because, you know, unique bridge officers that yada yada yada. Probably not. Probably not. Okay, I've got anyway. everything that I can do through Capture the Flag. But well, after, after Kabali Front, I have to do it before I can start skipping through the rest. So what what have you got on your plate? Story, accolades, display in progress only. Uh, let's see here. The Delta Quadrant. Hmm. I mean, Capture the Flag is on my to-do list. And that's one I can't get to until I do Kabali Front. Hmm. Oh, uh, I don't think you have to complete the Kambali Adventure Zone. Do you just have to go team. down there and check in? Yeah, I think so. Okay, that's the way it that. originally worked, anyways. And then you go back and do Kabali one, two, and three at your convenience. Actually, okay. it used to be you'd go down there, you do Kabali one, you go do something else, then you do Kabali two, and you do something else and do Kabali three. Now it's all three of them. But let's see what happens. Now, as for whether the change token will break ev absolutely everything, 
Um, well, that's part of the reason for what having limitations on it is that it reduces what it's capable of breaking. There is, of course, the high likelihood that you will have um, certain things you can't do, and costumes might get reset. <laughs> and mom logged in on the Fetty. Are you Klingon? Actually, you know what? I, I I can switch to my Talaxian character. I can okay. I can switch to a Klingon too. Uh, it's no big. Yeah, it it just occurred to me that I, I did actually make three Delta recruits because, you know, you wanted to do it on all three. Yeah, I can switch over though if you want me to. Oh, I just switched to my Talaxian. Okay, fine. I, um, let's see here. What uh, was the uh, to do list on my Talaxian? You said I picked up capture the flag, so I can join you with that one now. Story accolades, Delta Quadrant. Um, yeah, capture the flag is next on my to-do list. Okey doke. Anybody want to join us? Mm. Oh, one of my bridge officers uh, is taking a nap now. It's the Baron. Good evening, Baron. I do want to join you, but cool. I'm not in game yet. <laughs> do, you, do you want to get in game? We can wait for you. Okay. Sure. No problem. Oh, goodness, Fabaduke. If I can put my POS builds out there, you can do the same. Goodness gracious. I've embarrassed myself on the internet on. for uh, like uh, six uh, years. Fabaduke, we're playing a story mission on normal difficulty. Yeah, come on. I can and have been known to sometimes do them on elite difficulty for the fun of it, but not what we're doing today. So what are we doing? Uh, we're doing Delta Quadrant. The episode is Capture the Flag. Ah. Which, um, yeah, I beamed up because the start point is, you know, not a I gotta get to the Delta Quadrant. I am at no. Right now. No. There's yeah. There's easy uh, trans warp options. I mean, you know, you you just like set it as your active mission and then click the trans warp. Nah. Mission. Oh damn. Yeah, I should have done that because I got a six minute cooldown. <laughs> uh, you can pick up almost any mission. You should be able to jump over here. Actually, I think I can capture the flag. If you've got that mission, you should be able to trans warp here. Let's see here. I got spending. Okay, I got. See, let's see how many uh, uh, seconds it takes me to go seventy-four light years. Oh. Let's see here. Uh, I'm wondering how long it's going to take someone to notice something. That you're but... here? No, no one cares. <laughs> hey, <Taylor. laughs> I, I've turned the birds up to eleven for you, just for you. <laughs> okay, I'm on my way. Oh my, yeah. Uh, I I I figured the ship ship boot would be, uh, pretty fast. But yeah, I uh, get, uh flew uh the length of the Delta Quadrant. Who the hell am I on top of? <laughs> Me. Thanks. Oh wow, we're getting freaky with it with our ship. <laughs> <laughs> that is one hell of a design. <laughs> what is your wife going to say about that? Oh, yeah, no. yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Hold on. That's how Hold they make on. little baby starships. <laughs> oh my and God. We, it, look at that. That's amazing. And, Essentially a good looking ship. And then you have my. Uh, what are those guys called again? The Fikiri? Yeah, the, 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 this, my, my Fikiri ship that you know, ha has more spikes than a starship should have. You are very bright. Well, actually, I have a, a shield on this ship that normally makes the hull look kind of bright, and parking it next to this uh, blue. Uh, blue giant. Yeah. Yeah. Which I have to it's say, like, I love the effect that they've given for this star. 
I'm actually using the 32nd century vanity shield. Okay, you know what? This, this is actually pretty cool. <laughs> I, I think we look fabulous this way. I dig it. <laughs> we need to rename it the dragonfly, though. It, it does kind of remind got, me of, of the uh, Thunder Kook and Falcon Bird. I'm, I'm going to send this photo and to Kale and say, build a ship. <laughs> yeah, really? Oh! oh! Damn it. No, 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 here. Uh, I actually have a screenshot. Oh, good. I, I got several. <laughs> well, I, well, I mean, you know, and anyone who's watching the stream, you know, just like I clip the stream and hit, I pick it, I pick that way. After Dark Ma. <laughs> that took me a moment to figure that one out, Fapadu. Very good. <laughs> Who's this? Maxia. Oh, yeah. That's my Hawkman. I'm like, who uh, is giving me an invite? Been having a lot of invites lately. Like, who the heck? I, getting friend invites is like a natural uh, side effect of streaming Star Trek Online. Oh, yeah. It's like, like, like oh, hi, streamer. N nice to see you. <laughs> Let me know when you guys are ready to uh, go do this thing. Oh, I've been, I, I've been ready since I got here. Okay. Hitting the button. Wait for everyone else. Except. Go. Yeah, it, it actually gave us a team map transfer button. Because this one actually starts on the ground map. Yes, it does. Uh, maybe it's it doesn't. Good evening, us. Death. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? And everybody. Oh. We're, doing, oh. we're doing good. We I'm are good. doing a Delta Quadrant episode. All right, t t time to summon the ghosts. Hey there, Frost. Rar to you too. How are we doing? Oh, to see what's up. We're doing. Uh, yeah. What are we doing? Just go pew pew pew. Capture the flag. It's a frost. Did you want to join us, Death? Well, that stuff died. Oh, what a surprise. Um, I'm gonna go east. Well, go to Bow Enchantry. Uh, yeah, I'll join you if you. Sure. I think you can jump in here easily enough. Where are you? Wait, okay. there's a third one. Where's the third one? Are you in already and I'm just not seeing you and being stupid? I'm uh, just not getting oh, in. Oh, okay. Good, I'm not being completely stupid there. There you are. No, I do need to re-log on, on to my uh, Discord, though, so a give me just a moment. Sure. Just arrived. This is our chance to strike before they retreat. Oh, hey, it's the Lissette. Nice to see you, too. This is Commander Jirok. Come in. Thank you, Frost, for the sub. I appreciate it. Well, that was quick. Uh, Crossbow took a warp core breach damage. Oh. What? Yeah, you you, you you sat too close to the uh, uh, Vadwar ships when they were warp core breaching. Oh, you mean the paint scratching that I just got? <laughs> yes, I mean, it was, it was like fifty percent hull damage, but you know. Can anybody uh, hear me? Yeah, yeah we can hear you, oh. Frost. I wasn't coming through for a second. I yep, it, it's been doing that today. Death, I sent you a share link if you want to come join us. Oh, no, I'm uh, on my way now. Um, okay, Nathan. Uh, we now have Snugglebum as the fifth team member. Yep, yeah, that's Death. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Didn't want to change maps till he was here. How are you doing, Frost? Well, the last two weeks have been strange. It's an understatement. Um, well, I've been dealing with my father-in-law in the hospital and everything that entails. And the absolute hysteria of everybody involved. And no one in any way, shape, or form interested in making sense. No, no. People thrive on being in hysteria and don't want to get out of it. <clears throat> What do you 
guys doing? We're doing an episode of uh, Delta Quadrant. Uh-oh. Okay. Are you guys on the ground? Or are you guys nope. up in space? Nope. We're still up in space. Oh, We're waiting to transport to the Lisette. Did you transport yeah. over already? Yeah, it beat me to the, okay. the ground. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I guess in that case, then uh, it already checked off. Uh, oh, right, right. We finished this space uh, thing. That, 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 that's why it um, I did that. It's because like, that was the current mission state. <laughs> Don't look in stream chat channel. Talk mom. Don't look at it? Yeah, don't look at it. Why not? <laughs> I'm going to stream chat channel. I'm gonna, oh, stream, that stream chat channel. Hang on. No, <laughs> now I have to go look at it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. As George Takei will say, oh, my. Oh, indeed. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that's exactly what I was saying about Thunder Cougar Falcon Bird. It's not letting us transport. Let's see. Let's try that again. Well, we, we're still missing somebody. Because he's already on the ground. Yeah, it sent me straight to the ground. Okay, let's because see if we, this we, works. Uh, we, we checked off the first space map as completed before he attempted to enter it. Ah. All right, here we go. Talking to the, the Lissette is apparently um, something that was resolved by an auto hell. Got it. And in case anyone is wondering, yes, I did mix Breen stuff with uh, the uh, Mirror Borg stuff. Oh, you make that sound like a bad thing. Well, it's it, it's the reason why I have the, the black metal. Oh, it's play. this episode. Yes, it's this episode. I think there's ten crew members you have to help you for the accolade, this meaningless massacre. or or at least scan them, anyways. Yeah. Oh, I got I got the wrong freaking gun. The oh, you're 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 using the the uh, a gun that can't uh, shoot oh, people that are already yeah, dead. Thanks. Oh. No, I got the wrong. I had Tetrion last night. I needed to do for endeavors. I mean, oh, it's, it's plasma it's, damage. I need to do plasma. Well, switch Shit. out your weapon. Yep, we got plenty of killing to be done. It's yeah, it, so. it's a normal difficulty ground mission. I mean, you know, the the the, the question is is whether things will, will live long enough uh, for you to shoot at them. Drunken Heretic yeah. says the new token sucks. I guess we're all aliens now. Uh, uh there's actually a a surprisingly long list of things that are uh, not available to aliens. I say this as someone whose first character in the game is an alien. I have lots and lots of alien characters. They're fun. Anyone else else no- notice um, modifications to the wall Let's details? To like there's like ridges Glad in the metal you. that I don't oh, there are. being I first noticed it with the, the doors. It's like the, I remember these doors as being like solid metal, but they mm-hmm. don't have like little seams in them. Like you can they even do. see it in the cutscene. Yeah. Oh, we oh. got and, and the wall behind the, them. Oh yeah, this does look a little different. Hey, drunken heretic! I'm happy with my uh, tunes the way they are. I don't need to switch tokens. I don't need to change my tunes. Yeah, this is the first story mission where you fight one of the infected. And this is also a mission where it's like sometimes Thaler on is a good thing. <laughs> you should have taken goals. Drunken says, Champions Online Animations Activate. I, I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong at all. Or 
Rebel lift to the armory. Did we go the right way? Nope, not that way. It looks dead. Where am I going? Thanks for the help, I guess. We should talk strategy. Okay, this is annoying. Like, when they designed these Romulan doors, they came up with a way of doing an, an aesthetic thing where uh, you could tell whether the door was locked or not by whether it has a glowy thing in the middle of yeah, it. Yeah, well, now you can tell because it's got the little white thing in the center. Where the heck is the armory? We're in it. Yeah, well, you're in it, but I'm not. Yeah, did you go down the turbo lift? No, I did not. Oh, well, that would be the problem. I don't even know where the turbo lift is anymore. Is that it over there? There we go. Okay, well, now uh, you, you, you have to go to like, the, the top left corner and uh, take another tur li turbo lift to the brig. Hang on, I'm helping people first. Because that's the kind of person I am. Oh. There was someone we missed? Oh. Okay. Well, there was somebody left. I mean, I, I, I grabbed everyone I saw. I guess I didn't see it. And we can get out of here. I'm running through a bunch of corridors now. What's the situation? Oops, there's another person there. Let's wait for mom before we talk to Jirok. Oh, that's okay. Ooh, hey, we ooh. got all of them. Did you get the now, 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 yep. Yeah, okay. 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 flagship. Uh, hey. now, now we can talk to Jirok. Alrighty then. Now we run back to the other end of the ship. <laughs> <sighs> Wait for me, I got little legs. Wait for me, I'm stupid. No in case you, in, 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 case, in, in case anyone has never seen it before, this is the Thaleron generator rope. <laughs> Strange. I don't think he's Excellent work. I can... Yeah, he, he he left because he doesn't want me to kick him into the Thaleron generator. <laughs> Oh, yes. The beryllium sphere. You'll give me what I want. Don't I think so. Worse than you. You it says no a Riemann with an eye patch. Dealing with. Oh, come now. We've survived worse than you as well. And Every back to the turbo weeks. lift. It's the exercise oh, routine. Yep, no, that's right. Actually, around the wrong way. Dang it. This way. This way. Powell and I have a plan. Isn't that this way? Yeah. Very predictable. The yeah. Talk to Lieutenant Selen. Mm-hmm. And no. the, and uh, now now we run back to the hallway and oh. uh, fight the bad war guy. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's one way to do it. That was interesting. Going sideways oh. through the walls. Sure, why not? Where am I going? Over here? Oh, there it is, okay. Is he dead already? No. Ah, here, 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 There he is. Yeah. No. Oh, uh, th th this is the, the part where he has plot immunity and we yeah. have to kite him into one of the red things. Focus your 
Well, that seems dead. Nah, m more plot immunity. Well, that plot immunity didn't last long. Nope. Old words from someone standing next to the um, uh, input valve uh, for the uh, quantum singularity core. I've got just the thing. What about a grenade? I think we did more than a grenade on that poor guy. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, no. Oh. What was that? I don't know, but we need a better way to fight it. I think we broke it. We broke it. Well, I'm I'm doing the the, the daily the ah. Herald Sphere. Oh, we got to 25 command ships defeated, and they just stopped showing up. Oh, <laughs> um, you, you brought elite level uh, ships to a normal level content. Yep. Uh, All right, see, time, uh, time to talk to Jirok again. You sneeze and half the stuff goes boom. Yes. Well, I mean, this this isn't my elite ship. This is All right, you guys ready to beam up? Ship. Yep, beaming up. Mm. Well, that was the easy way to do that episode. I mean, well, when you have people who actually are capable of doing elite, doing something like this on normal, it's like... Pew, pew, done. I, 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 come here, little I, I, cuddly bunny. I'm going to squish you now. <laughs> And mission done. Indeed. Oh, and I get a career-specific kit. Wow. I like how the, the, the mission just breaks. Starfleet intelligence believes it just Javadwar stops doing anything. Ah, ah, oh, I, I remember uh, what they were saying in the cutscene? Guess, guess what I got as my uh, career-specific kit. What'd you get? A plasma grenade. Oh, how Ooh. appropriate. What did I get? I want the lockbox. I got a seeker drone and a engineering kit. Woohoo! There you go. You are now the winner of something. Yes, I am. I have stuff now. Hi again, GSQ. GSQ's back. GSQ. Did you want to go on and do the next one, Mar Hawkman? Uh, yeah, Dragons to Sea. Yep. Somebody yeah, I, I, I was um, looking it up in the episode list. It's like, which one am I supposed to do next? Dragon's Deceit. Does everybody have it or should I share? Oh, no. I mean, no, everyone, everyone we were team with should be eligible for it. It's oh, yeah, because they just finished that. Yeah. Of course they are. Yeah. I'll be right back. Okie dokie, we'll be right here. Oh, I can't share it, so... Oh. Oh wait, no. I, I I flew to the wrong one. This is in Dragon's Dist. There we go. Oh, it's a single player mission. We can't share this one, that's why. Oh uh, well, uh um, we could like skip it and then do, do it. Fine with me. Um uh, Episodes Delta. Next one is Alliances, which, um, it doesn't say solo only. Oh, and, and this is the one that gives you the hierarchy. Problems. Right, yeah. No, this one, is this one where we're on the ground? Uh, this is the, this is the one where you have to fight a, a, a Voth juggernaut while you're disguised or something stupid like that. Okay. And no, this one doesn't say it's a solo mission. Okay, you guys ready? No, I, um, I think Roz had to step back off for a moment, so we'll wait for him. He said he'd be right back. Mm, he did.
Oh, yes. The, the random um, mods on the tactical kit I got. Personal shield generator resistance. Eh, okay. That's not the best, but it's useful. Will times two. I am oh. doing okay. Feels cute. I'm just I'm going to salvage that. Older than I have ever been. You're colder old. or older? Older. I had a a test today that was not pleasant. Oh, hmm. Sorry to hear that. I spent today writing an exciting blog on the history of medical waste disposal. Woohoo! Actually, on the history of the regulations of mega, uh, medical waste disposal. Shadow's um, back. Hey, here's a question you guys probably never asked yourself before. So, um, how do ground kits scale? I don't know. Before we go any further, this is actually a great question for you, Mar Hawkman from Shadow. Uh, back, um, uh, he completed the Delta Quadrant a few weeks ago, but can't claim the reward from the Delta Recruit, and I'm not sure why it's missing. I know this has come up a couple of times. Yes, I have the... Uh, Shadow the Ripper, uh, the first thing to do is push J, click Accolades, um, go down to the story accolades thing and then uh, click the little uh, drop down menu so that it doesn't show you all of the completed ones. Then find the Delta Quadrant and look to see what there is in there that's not checked off yet. I'm writing this down much slower for him because English isn't his first language. So say that again. So click J, click on accolades. Uh, go to story accolades and um, tell it to only show you the in progress accolades. Because, like, there's a bunch of things for Delta Quadrant that aren't immediately obvious. It used to be that to get the Delta Quadrant accolade, you didn't have to do any of the Kobali Adventure Zone stuff. Now you do. But, yes, yeah, like, um... The recruit device having the story art completion is actually just checking to see whether or not this accolade is completed. And thus you can look at the accolade as a to-do list. So you need to make sure all of these are checked off your list and there's a lot of them there? Yeah. I mean, like, the Kabali Adventure Zone has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 items mm -hmm. to do in the Kabali Adventure Zone. Right, so if you've missed any one of those, it won't let you complete it. But at least you can see what you've got. Yeah. And you have to type out the Delta Quadrant. I mean, if you actually use the search bar, but, I mean, you know, right. yes, yep. that is an option. Mm -hmm. And they'll show you exactly what it is. Okay. I, I, I just click it to, uh, to, to only show me the in-progress accolades because, you know, that's the ones I care about. Well, this is a tune I started years ago, but I've never really done anything with her. Mm. So, and as you can see from uh, what's up there, I haven't done much of this arc. Mm. Browse, let us know when you're back. Okay, Shadow, if he ever goes too fast, just let me know and I'll type it out slower. And if you can understand that you are good. Well, I guess I didn't do that one. I'm bitch. I don't know which one Musin was missing. He was missing one of these. Um, I still well, got well, well, what is the completion that there are yeah, the completion list. One of the people that, that I talked to uh, uh, last week sometime what was having an issue figuring out how to get the Kabali Adventure Zone stuff to complete. Yeah. But that was more just you, he didn't know how to get the Kabali Adventure Zone to yeah, you were at all. I was working <laughs> with Musin and you were working with somebody else. 
to get through the whole thing. But, I mean, uh, we, we were able to get it done then. It's just, you know, it's like, know who to talk to to get the next mission step. Yeah. yeah. Well, for Musin, it wasn't giving giving him the chance to go talk to Hanshin Jatayman, or whatever his name is. Oh. Uh, so he had to redo the first two stories on the story arc for Kabali 1. Oh. Well, like, the, the one guy I was talking to, his uh, thing that confused him was... Um, at some point, you stop talking to Jatanian and talk to Sadalor, and he was just got confused at the idea of going and talking to Sadalor because yeah. he had no idea who that was. Yeah, I think you're working with Joshua. Yeah, and I had to show him, I was like, yeah, okay, see see, see this like uh, uh, little path over here? Go down, oh, yeah. all the yeah. way over, halfway across the map. It's there, but you can't go racing through it like we do with so many missions. Can we take a quick one-minute break? I'm going to grab some fresh water. Sure. All right, and then we can go on and do this other episode. I will be back in just a moment. Yes, you're fine right there. Crosbo. Yeah. You were there. You didn't hear her? Hear what? She said to say something when you're ready. Yeah. Yeah. So she thought you weren't ready yet. Yeah, I, I gotta wait for mom to come back. And then we can start. Okay, let's see here. Piscopa is here. Rosabo is here. Mom's uh, still over the, the other place. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's who we're missing. Oh, yeah, see, Mom, it's like 13 light years away. Okay. Oh yeah, uh, the, the thing I was saying earlier about plasma grenades. Um, uh, the way that the um, stats on plasma grenades scale, the damage over time effect actually runs off of the quality of the kit module. I'm back. Why? Uh, Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Is everybody back? Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, we're all here. Yeah, so like the the, the UV rarity uh, plasma grenade I have in my inventory actually has a higher damage over time stat than the Mark 13 purple one, despite being three Mark levels lower. It actually has a higher plasma damage over time. That's goofy. It, it's because of the fact that certain kid module um, stats run off of the Mark, and some run off of the quality. Okay. So, and some will run off of both. Like, if you have a photon grenade, it only has one meaningful stat, damage. Which means that, and that stat actually runs off of both the quality and the mark. Well, a lot of the special kit modules, because of the fact that they're gold quality, mm -hmm. well, they throw out the whole, like, uh, which stats scale off of quality thing, because they're starting at gold quality. So that's right. always going to be scaled to gold quality. So they just run everything off of mark level if they even have stats that scale at all. Because there are certain kit modules that just don't have scaling stats because they're weird like that. <laughs> Anyways, I'm, if you're ready to start. I'm ready to start. This is Alliances, right? Mm -hmm. You're 13 light years away from us. 
I'll be there in a moment. Anyways. Where did that come from? Oh, wow. Okay. What? Thank you. Thank you, Twitch. Oh, Twitch is being magical again? No, they paid me. <gasps> Twitch is lovely. What? Yeah. You, you actually got money from streaming? Yeah. <laughs> We get money for streaming, but it, it, it's not God very it. much. Now, now I got claiming on my taxes. Damn it! Only if you make more. <laughs> only if you make more than six hundred dollars per year, on that. Mm. Which I oh, don't. I don't so. happen. That don't happen. Uh, Alrighty then. Uh, but did, you get, did you get enough to uh, buy us some pizza? Uh, I got enough to buy at least two. Oh wow! <laughs> nice. Yeah. Already then. Okay. Oh, well, well, one of the people I I, I uh, used to watch streaming uh, cl said that they only give you money if they can give you at least fifty dollars in a payment. No, um, yeah. that was their Something policy, like or it used to be they would only give it if they had a hundred dollars. So you might not get any for months. Now I think it's fifty or more. It okay. is. It's fifty because I just got fifty nine forty seven. Okay. Hey, okay then. You're doing good right. then. So I guess we're going to start Alliances now. Click it. Click it. Yeah, no, speaking as an accountant slash book... Ooh, somebody somebody came in without their ship. That was excellent. Uh, yeah, it's... Um, it is $600 before they have to bother sending you the whatever the heck it is. The 1099? Yeah, 1099. Thank you. Hey, you can look it up. That's what I did. Even though I didn't make it over 600 well, if they don't send you a 1099, that means they also didn't report it to the government. So you can certainly report it. Ooh, this is cool. The, the Kobali battleship in this uh, mission actually has a Kobali faction logo on it. Ooh. No. And that's a different design of a Kobali ship that isn't a playable one. Oh. Oh, well. It uses a very similar design aesthetic to the uh, Samsar, mm -hmm. but it's like somewhat smaller. Samsar, while it's not a very wide ship, it's long. However, we have the same cloud motif that we have on the new splash art that uh, we have on this loading screen art. It's mm -hmm. very interesting. Take forever. Oh, it is a continuation of the Kings and Queens. It It is mm -hmm. indeed. Well, that explains the Kings and the Queens, doesn't it? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, we only saw the, the King before. Mm -hmm. sure. Although the Ethereum person could, could uh, fit with the, the Queen part, I it, suppose. And it could in many ways, she said honestly. Uh-oh. Seems like we're never going to get uh -oh. I don't? Sorry, the are okay, there we go. The I was able to move, but the camera wasn't moving. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that, that was something that I, I had uh, act weird, too. It's like it wasn't letting me turn left and right until I yeah. walked forward. Let us begin. Um, Shadow, I'm not sure which uniform. There are many other races in the Delta Quadrant in a position to help us defeat the Vodwar. It will be up to us to show them the benefits of joining us. Seven. I would like you. These cuts oh, are always it, it, in the loading screen shadow. Um, is the uniform that Ezri's got in the loading screen part of a bundle, or is that just a regular uniform? I think it's just a regular uniform. Odyssey. Captain Kim. Shadow, I don't know if you heard that, but it's Odyssey uniform, which should be standard. Hello, Cliff. The, 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 does the one you're you're talking about look like what uh, Captain Kim is wearing here? That's what it says. Yeah. Um, the, the, what Captain Kim's yeah. wearing in the loading screen, which is very similar to what's here, I believe. Can we cut? No, we can't skip this one. Why can we not skip some of these? This this particular uh, uh, loading or. Uh, thing is so weird with certain costumes. Uh, like, it's just sending me to talk to the Actanti while I have this Borg face mask on. Yes, that sounds like a great idea. I think uh, Kim... I have to talk to the Voyager crew, and, and I, I, I'm not even in the right part of the ship to do that. I'll talk to him. The Rhode Island is a 
This person count as Voyager crew. Oh wow, this, this, is, this is such an unimportant character that, that, that you can't even click on him to find out what his name is. <laughs> yeah, I think the Doctor, Tuvok, and Cam all have the same uniform. Just slightly... Well, just modified slightly modified. Their, their Ready to be colors. Colors. Anyway. Is this the one where we have to pick, up, pick out which allies we're going to fight with against certain ones? Maybe. I know there's one where you have to go through them. No, I don't think so. Okay. Give orders to crew. Divac asks us to talk to the Trady Tanti and so on. Yeah, I know there's one mission where you're supposed to figure out what's the best ally to go against a certain enemy. And I would do this with that, and he'd be like, oh, we have to do this one. Oh, why don't we do that one? Oh, it's not the best one. You want to bet we still get through it? Yeah, that's a good point. Oh, look, there's a subspace disturbance. I, 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 I'm sure it's perfectly fine. Oh, Cliff, I managed to buy that bridge for my ships, yes. No, I'm not going to pick you up. You can wait a minute, little girl. I remember this one. Uh, the, this mission actually has a, uh, a, a warp volume in space. If, if 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 you fly to the wrong part of the space map, it'll actually uh, uh, jettison you back to the start point. I think I remember having done that more than a few times. Keep flaming skull, bad war. No, oh, I think I missed. Whoops. Is there anything left? Um. Not really. War, war explosion. The Voth yeah. haven't abandoned you. Uh, they're busy. There's a difference. They're busy dying. Well, yeah. Oh. At this point in the story, the Federation is kind of at war with the Voth. Oh, we're always at war with the Voth. They're a pain in the butt. Well, well, well that, that's actually the, the reason for the uh, teleport volume, though, is because, like, that's where something huge shows up later on in the mission. Ah. Attention, any Voth ships. This is a priority emergency. We are under attack. From what? We killed everything. Where did it go? Remember where the te teleport volume actually is. While your ship may oh, well then. What can you, you have given? It is agreeable that your efforts to recruit the. What are we voting for? Uh, uh, so uh, for some reason, the, the, the window closed on me. Yeah, it keeps closing. Rusin system, Nell system, Pribble system, I don't care. Where are we going? We have to get that screen to pop up long enough for, for all of us to vote. I'm voting for the top one just to get it done. Or Anybody want a dog? No. I've got one already. <laughs> I love her dearly, but... Uh, I don't have any artwork up to kill the sound yet. Both have a capital in Delta Quadrant? Yep. Oh. Ah, oh, look, look at those. Those cute. cute. At the cooperative ships. They, they actually look kind of bluish now. They do, yes. Yeah, blue green. Interesting. Did the devs change the color? I'm going to say yeah. Ambassador, there is life after 
I like your bigotry now has denied for thousands Fork of you. We knew recruiting the Octanti would be difficult. Their emotional reactions to the board color. Tap one again. Uh, I, I have a map transfer button. We need okay. So do I. Isn't there an option in that one where you can not defeat the cube? Yeah. I don't remember what it is. I think and when you're talking to them, you have to convince them that it's his brother on the ship and he should fight to save him. Something like that. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, wait, 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 no. I think what it is is that you have to actually talk to the board cooperative people. Ah, uh, yes. On this system. Lots of deals are made here. Uh, so, um, who owns this, um, rather point-looking, uh, space station? Will they give us what we want? Don't know, but it is adorable. Of course we... What? Oh, I mean good. Sure, I'll draw. Oh, it's probably the Hazari. Yeah, I, I just noticed that there's a, a small fleet of Hazari ships parked next to it. Fine, I'll kill you then, my so-called friends. I have no idea what just happened, but. We're defeating a ship, then we have to beam him to the brig, and then we're going to give him to the whoever the heck this is. And they're going to be like, oh yes, you've captured him. Oh no. Someone kill them before I finish flying. About the shield ship, have a good in any story to arc to running. I use Mark 15 Purple 1 generic have 10k in all angles. I'm not quite sure what you're asking, Shadow. The Hazari seem a little... I don't think that's the... On behalf of all... Um, honestly, oh, like, ship shields, so um, the reputation uh, gear shield shields are done. the better I'll ones. Be I understand the Hazari. Okay, so what are we doing? Pribble? Yes. Pribble. Can we just vote it? Oh. There you go. Because I am close to level 3 disco. Uh, well. I, I, like, I like Tilly Shields. I really like Tilly Shields. If you can get them can afford him. The hierarchy once corrupted my programming in an attempt to spy on Voyager. This seems these subroutines are quite useful. Perhaps I'll write That's a comment close about enough. my experiences as a spy. I, I have an idea. Um, you yes, it's the Mr. Potato Head race. One. Something <laughs> <laughs> wrong with Mr. Potato Head. Oh, I didn't say there's anything yes. wrong with it. I I just said that these guys look like him. <laughs> it's Mr. Well, Potato Head. Somehow, Mr. Potato Head is awesome. You're just jealous. Poor <laughs> <laughs> holographic buff bulwark. I am. Ah, I see. Uh, so someone on our team has the um, a 10th anniversary bundle, I think. Oh, yes. Absolutely. At least I think that's what that giant glowing red thing is. It's not my giant glowing red thing, I'll tell you that. Mm. It's my it. giant glowing red thing. What is it from? Um, what I used was called Portal of the Damned. Oh, oh, okay. That's not the 10th anniversary. Yeah, that's off the new Curie not, ship. No. What's the portal of the dam come off of? It's a Fakiri ship. Hmm. Okay, so uh, continue mission. I haven't it gotten that one. It oh, there popped it is, yeah. up 
for like mm -hmm. a fraction of a second. Now, how do we get to? We just wait a moment. Uh, did we have to hail the hierarchy ship? Maybe I think we might have to hail, hail the hierarchy ship. Well, I don't have that as a prompt. Do we need to go find the hierarchy ship? Uh, yeah, it's let's go over and talk to him. Should be close enough to hail the hierarchy ship. I don't Hi. see it. Though. It's right over here. Oh, there's a a, a white diamond marked on the map. Uh, yeah, I had it for a second and then it disappeared. Well, Chandra's way the heck over there, so maybe he needs to be over and closer to us. Hi there, little girls. <laughs> Did you notice the title of this particular episode, or particular arc? Photon of Solace. Yeah. <laughs> Cute. There he is! From Ark! Run away! Oh. Closed again. Wait, what? We were already here. Why is Chandra 100 kilometers away from us? I don't know. Where, Doesn't love where us are anymore. you guys? We're over here. Uh, we are to your northeast and above you. Huh? So if you look at the mini map, you'll see us. His cliff says, over there. Yep, go that direction. Oh, no. Uh, where the hell am I? I'm not in the same space. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're here. <laughs> pull up your okay. mini map. You'll see us. Well, uh, uh, excuse me, pull up your... Is here. Yeah. Um, here, I'll go find Chad. Oh, wait, here, I have a travel button now. Yeah, oh, let's do that one. Oh, I see, oh, I see you guys. Hold on. Yes, yeah, like trying to fly over to, to where he, uh, Chandra was uh, is, is what brought up the prompt. Oh, so we need to go over and visit him? Uh, and there's the prompt again. We got five votes. All right, let's see if it works. Uh, I, I now see Hail Admiral Tuvok, so... Um, oh, I don't have that yet. Oh. Nor do I. Well, Ch uh, Chandra is 76 kilometers away from me. That's so weird. That is I, I think weird. what it is with this mission is that the devs actually built it so that it's actually multiple solar systems in the same map, and clicking the button spawns and despawns... Uh, I have travel. Anybody else have that as an option? Like I, 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 I'm currently staring at a a pile of debris from a, a combat. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Travel. I, I currently see a, a prompt to hail Admiral Tuvok. I've got a uh, Tuvok Excellent. thing coming up here. Yeah, Your factional divisions. Okay. Where's Tuvok? USS Rhode Island is here. Let's uh, see if we can hail the Rhode Island. I'm looking for the Voyager. Alright. I'm pretty sure we're already in the Bremark system. Why it keeps popping this up, I don't understand. Because, like, I, I'm i parked next to a Kazan Palmer, Kazan Oglin, Kazan Relora ship. So hey, the, I found you guys. And um, the uh, system that we're going to is the one where you talk to the Kazan. Okay, now I've lost you guys.
Mom, uh, yeah, um, just go a really, really long ways west. Maybe depart the system and jump back in, see if that helps. Yeah, I was just going to suggest those of you that did not make it here to leave the system and then jump back in. Okay. He's an alternate dimension, Cliff says. Yes. Yes, indeed. Okay, I see a hydrazine gas node, and I can't interact with it somehow. The USS Gary Gygax. There we go. <laughs> it's an excellent name for a ship. It is indeed. All right, let's see what happens. Ooh. Good luck. Mm -hmm. It is agreeable that your efforts to recruit the Toure were successful. We are reaching out to their... Okay, I see Mom. Ooh. Well, you guys are in the Alina system? I'm right behind you. I know. Where you, I, yeah, I can see you. I, yeah, I can... it's like Kethra and Chandra are marked as in Alina uh, or whatever system. Yeah, you need to leave the I'm, system. I'm in Bremark. Mm, not according to... Mm -hmm. You need to depart the system and jump back in. Yeah. Well, we departed and came back in. You guys depart and come back in and see what happens. On the way. Okay, we got Snuggle Bun. We got more Hogman. Graz, it's up to you now. And Graz is here. Let's see what happens. This does not look the same. No, nope, it doesn't. Well, this so is one interesting. So these things are like the other? <laughs> oh, oh uh, n n now we need to go back to Bremer. Right. So we got to vote to go there. And we get the votes, and then... I, I hate this vote mechanic. Well, if it worked, it would be great. Seems to only let, be letting one of us go at a time. It, it, it's the whole, like, if it works thing that's the problem. And now we are back in the same system with the Kazon. All right, third person showed up. Okay. So Glezabo and Blue are here with me. Okay, and Chandra and I aren't so. Yeah, it's not that little message isn't popping up for me. Let me try something. Uh, now it wants me to uh, hail the Rhode Island instead Wh of talking to. Uh, Which is right here Dubai. next to us. Which is here. Oh, wait. Ship. Uh, this is actually different. We actually have a, di a different Kazon sex this time. There there's a Kazon Halleck ship here too now. Hmm. And Kazan Mostral, which we didn't see last time. Well, I'm next to the Rhode Island. I cannot hail it. Yeah, well, it, it, it's the wrong it. version of the Rhode Island. The, 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 the one that we're parked next to is the right one. Yes, Cliff, we are lost again. It's the Delta still, Quadrant. Still. Oh, the Delta Quadrant. I might have to do the episode again. Hold on. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, hold on. M Magic Cat, I'm going to replicate the terraforming systems needed uh, so that uh, we can do that. Yeah, that, I got the replay up. Uh, terraforming systems need 100. I don't have the mission on in progress. Interesting. I've got it in here. Hang on. Try that one, Chandra. Well, that's the thing. I'll have to accept it again. Oh, that's right. They'll kick you back out. But and they'll start they'll start all over again. Okay, I guess we have the uh, the the faction that I negotiated with as allies, and everyone else decided uh, they uh, hate us or something. I don't know. It is agreeable that you're. 
Well, Sesson's always going to attack us at this one. Mm -hmm. Return to Voyager. Okay. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. Wait. Wait. Are we returning to Voyager or trying the Brumark system? Or have you guys already done that? We just did the Brumark system. <laughs> and I'm going to return to the Voyager. See if that'll let us do that. Nope. Okay, return to Voyager. I just completed it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a map change. Woo! Yeah, and see, it's, like, it's missed, it's missed. This, this was the devs' attempt at doing forked missions where you had choices, where it wasn't a straight path. And return to sector space. That's what I've got now. Leave the system. I'm out. Holy crap. Yeah, that was really. really messed up. Okay, I got helping hands back up again. Oh, God. But you don't have it in your uh, in progress? No, it just says continue. Yeah, so it's not going to let you go through it then? Oh, no, I've got helping hands, too. That didn't clear from my screen. There is no help. There's only hands. <gasps> it's, oh, no. the it's a dark thorn. <laughs> yeah. Hey, howdy. Hey, how's it going? Good. Long time no here. There is only Zool. There's only Zool. Yeah, exactly. Okay, there so... There is no help. There is only Zool. Uh, we just did alliances. No, we didn't. <laughs> some of you did. Some of us didn't, apparently. Okay, so next, I guess, would be um, either Better With Friends or Revolution. Well, I don't have either option because I have got to log off because I got work in the morning. Oh, I'll do that. But I will leave you guys to that. I guess I'm going to start streaming. Uh, so. Okay. I, I, it just occurred to me that I was uh, wanting to do that and haven't started that yet. Well, it is my it is time for me to log off here. So I'm going to get the heck out of here. You guys are more than welcome to go on and play. I'll actually leave the team here so I don't mess up things any further. Yeah, and on I'm behalf of the Dark Mom Consortium, I want to thank everybody who joined us tonight. Should we raid somebody? Um, I'm in the process of uh, starting. Oh, are you, Ooh, do you want yeah. me to go raid you? Do you want to start yours up and I'll raid you? I don't have anybody in there. Perfect. Online. Delta. Quadrant. Uh, K-pop is on. Yeah, but we're going to go raid Mar Hawkman. We just need to give him a minute to get there. That sounds horrible. Not the raiding... Mar Hawkman part. Too. I'm reading. Alrighty then. I guess I'm live. Wow. Show it online. I hate this new filter thing. It's annoying. What the heck? What's oh, What's your channel name, Mar Hawkman? Mar Hawkman. It's telling me no channels are found. He just went on, so that might be why. That's I can take care of it if you want one. Oh, yeah, if you want to do that, that would be amazing. Oh. I hate this new one. I like the old one better. Ooh, and Pi is on tonight, by the way. I just saw his icon pop up. Doing an Agatha Christie Hercule Poirot. But yes, let's go raid uh, Mar Hawkman, if you will. Yeah, silly old work. Believe me, believe me, I'm ready to ready to walk, even though I love them dearly. Well, hit it whenever it's ready there, and everyone have a great evening. Good luck. With well. the, good luck with that Delta Quadrant. Mm. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Bye, bye. I'll get out of here. Oh, I do that. <laughs>